The first shift was a rude awakening. Like you watch hockey and you think there's space and there's time and like they're amazing, they're gonna be better than you, but it's like a little bit better, a little bit faster, a little bit everything. You do everything right. Like in your head, you do everything right because obviously you don't do anything right really. And you'd be like, I've got a guy going into a corner on his backhand or something, I'll be fine. And you just slam the brakes on before you could even turn, before you could even think about compensating, he's already escaped and gone and got like three stick lengths from you. You just can't match it. You can't match anything. And then they shoot and you don't see it. It goes in, the net bulges. You're like, cool. It was, it was really fun actually, because uh, you get a chance to relax and kind of enjoy yourself. Uh, it's not, there's not too much pressure on you if you, you know, make, make a mistake or anything, but it's, it's also difficult because there's no system in your guy's defensive zone. You try to read off what you're going to do, but you guys may not know what you're going to do, so it's kind of, kind of difficult. It was, it was very easy after a, a tough day's practice. It was nice to have a bit of light-hearted fun though, so, but uh, yeah, it wasn't, I don't think anyone shifted out of first gear. I don't think anyone took a hard drive and we had four guys using the wrong-handed sticks. Oh no! Oh. Did you not notice that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the few of us used the wrong-handed sticks, just a few shifts for a, for a bit of a giggle. When you're out there playing normally, it's just reactions. You've trained yourself to do certain things at certain times. There's triggers that make you. If I feel a guy push on my right, I spin off to the left. And I, where with you guys, because you had so much time, you'd stop and then you'd be like, oh, oh no, I've got time. Okay, then I'll wait and wait. And then, do you know what I mean? So sometimes you'd even mess yourself up because you had too much time. But yeah, it was, uh, it was fun. It was definitely fun for the boys. It put a smile on the guy's face. So it was good fun. It was amazing, man. Like you see this on TV, you watch it, and then to get down here and actually experience it firsthand, it's an experience you can't really describe. It's just amazing how quick and fast they are. They're not even trying. Like he said, he's like he's in first gear, and they're not even getting out of it. <laughs> uh, there's a massive difference. You you really can't put it into perspective. Like they they just they're going around and they're having fun. Like it's a an easy day for them, and we out there struggling. You know what I mean? So <laughs> you got us trying our hardest, and then barely even trying, you, you can't compare it really. They zip the puck like three times in one second. And you'd be staring at it, I'd pass it, and I was playing D, so I was like, I'll go over to the guy he's passed it to. By the time I'd turned to look at him, he didn't have it anymore. Genuinely didn't have it anymore. He'd passed it, passed back past where I was stood, and they scored. Like, it was unstoppable. But they had all the time in the world, like everything was better. You'd get close and they'd just take a big stride and you'd be like, see you later. And Daddy was saying, they didn't even get out of first gear. I knew from the get-go this was going to be mental, like elite league against beer league or rec, whatever you want to call it. We knew that we were going to get destroyed. But when you're in the stands watching the games, you look down and you think, I think I could keep up with those guys. I think I could uh, skate with them. You get on the ice, actually on the ice with these guys, and it's another thing. The only way I could describe it, it's like playing hockey against a six-month-old -old child. That's basically what they felt like on the ice. We were nothing. We might as well have been those stick handling things that you stick on the ground and try and stick handle around because that's pretty much how they treated us out there. It was uncomparable. But aside from that, the thing that killed me was when we found out that a lot of the players were using wrong-handed sticks through the shifts that they were playing out there. That's how easy it was for them. We didn't even notice. I would be skating against a guy trying to poke check him thinking, oh crap, I touched the puck, this is amazing. And then you find out he's playing lefty when he's really righty. That just, it killed us, but it's been an awesome experience and we've enjoyed every second of it, even though we got destroyed. A massive thank you to the entire team, especially Mike and the Sheffield Steelers for allowing us to come down here and play with them. All of the guys that we brought with us have had a phenomenal time and we've had probably one of the best learning experiences on the ice that we could ever ask for as recreational or beer league players. So big thank you for that. As always, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And as always, check out all of the other videos we have along the side. But before you go anywhere, subscribe and also follow the Sheffield Steelers. Thank you very much and take care to the next one, guys. There are a couple of things that we chew through very, very quickly. The first one is definitely going to be sticks and gloves. Now, although you might be thinking about replacing other parts of equipment like helmets and skates, we'd always suggest with some parts of a hockey player's equipment, it's better to take the player into the store to let them kind of pick the equipment for themselves so they can try on. 